The first match for Fuel this week is today against San Francisco Shock. Fuel's record is 2-2 two two for Stage 2 and 5-9 and overall, and the Shock are 1-3 for Stage 2 and 4-10 and overall. The maps in the match will be Volskaya, Lijing Tower, Kings Row, and Route 66. So let's talk about how these teams have been performing in each of these maps. Dallas is even on paper on two CP maps for Stage 2, generally winning it against lower-ranked teams and losing it against stronger teams in the league. The Shock has looked pretty good on two CP maps. They've won 75% in Stage 2. So far in Volskaya, both teams are 1-0. One of the strong themes in Stage 2 is that in most games so far, it seems like no one is prepared to play defense in the first round. We've seen a lot of time bank rounds. King of the Hill maps are a struggle so far for both of these teams. Dallas and San Francisco Shock both have a Stage 2 record of 1-3 on Koth, with both teams getting their Stage 2 Koth win against Shanghai. Not great. Dallas has a record of 0-1 on Lijing Tower, and San Francisco Shock is 0-2. Dallas is 1-0 on King's Row. Hybrid maps in general, though, are a little strange for the boys in blue. They've lost hybrid maps to Valiant and Shanghai, but won against Seoul, the current Stage 2 leader, as well as the Gladiators. In contrast, the Shock have only taken a hybrid map in Stage 2 off of the Shanghai Dragons. This map is an even score for Dallas, 1-1, one one, but the map score doesn't tell the full story. If you remember, they lost it to Seoul last week, and Seoul had to pull out some pretty high-level play to take it, ending with a surprise bastion from Toby in overtime on the last point. This was a nail-biting finish where Dallas came extremely close to winning this map and sending the series to a Game 5. That game was responsible for the Fuel's only Stage 2 loss on a payload map. The Shock haven't actually played Route 66 yet this stage. This could be a small advantage for them because Dallas won't really know what to expect, but in general, Shock have lost most payload maps with a record of 1-3. Again, their only win on this map type was against Shanghai. So let's talk about overall Stage 2 performance for these teams. One of the most interesting aspects of this entire match is that in Stage 2, Dallas has played games against the Shanghai Dragons, LA Gladiators, Seoul Dynasty, and the Valiant. Looking at San Francisco Shock in Stage 2, they have played the exact same teams. Both teams lost to Seoul and the Valiant, both teams won against Shanghai, and Dallas took a pretty convincing win against LA Gladiators, while the Shock got swept by them. Dallas's first regular season win was actually against San Francisco Shock. So Fuel has the upper hand here, definitely, but it's not a guaranteed win. Looking at Stage 1, there's a couple of things to carry over to today to really secure their success. Positioning well for strong defense. Effects pure mechanical excellence and positioning on McCree allowed them to hold more than four minutes on Eigenwald in the time bank round, and Dallas drew a map that should have been lost at that point. Punishing Baby Bay's bad positioning and cocky style. Especially on Elios and Junkertown, Baby Bay was often out of position, overconfident in his skills and underestimating his opponents. This has always been a problem for a San Francisco shock, but the Mercy meta meant that a lot of Baby Bay's mistakes could be undone. Now those mistakes are even more punishable, and Dallas can and should take advantage of that. There are differences for Stage 2 Shock, though. In Stage 1, the win condition to beat Shock was to take out Baby Bay. In Stage 2, however, Dante has been stepping up in a big way. It's possible that we'll also see IDD Cutie. Of course, that was a joke. Despite his obvious talent, we have never seen IDD Cutie in a regular season Overwatch League match, even when Shock could have used a McCree of his... caliber? Hashtag free IDD cutie. If Dallas wants to win today, they need to understand that both of Shock's DPS members are a threat and deal with both of them. So how do they do that? AKM has a similar hero pool to Baby Bay, and Effect and Dante both typically play Tracer. I believe AKM and Effect are a better duo than Baby Bay and Dante. They should be able to handle Shock just fine. Dallas also has a very strong alternative though in Rascal. Rascal plays a strong Genji, a standout Sombra, and can flex to many other heroes as well. We may see Rascal on Route 66, but if Effect or AKM seem to be struggling with their role on other maps, Dallas can sub in Rascal to help out. So, with all this in mind, will Dallas win today? 
The most likely answer is yes. Don't be discouraged if Dallas struggles in the first map today or even if they struggle in the first half. Shock's record on 2CP is stronger than Dallas's with fairly even Koth performances. The second half strongly favors Dallas. My prediction? Dallas 3-1. Saturday, Dallas plays Florida Mayhem. Florida is 0-4 for Stage 2 and 1-13 for Season 1. Also, Dallas has only played Florida in a preseason game. So with all that in mind, let's briefly get into this match. The maps are Hanamura, where Dallas is 1-2, Nepal, Dallas is 1-2 there also, Kings Row, Dallas is 1-0 there, and Gibraltar, where Dallas is 2-0. Florida is 0-2 on all of these maps, with the exception of Nepal. They've only played Nepal once, and they lost. However, Florida has taken a map off both London and NYXL, and they have been improving, so Dallas should not underestimate them. But if Dallas has done their homework and are prepared to show up, this should be an easy win. Again, it's possible that Dallas will drop the first map, as it is 2CP. My prediction, though, for this game is 4-0. Well, that's going to wrap things up for this week. Leave a comment below if you have a prediction for these games, or next week's games versus Boston Uprising and the Philly Fusion. Also, this is a new format for this show. Did you love it? Hate it? Wish we'd cover different Overwatch League games or more cute Mickey moments? Leave your feedback in the comments and help shape the future of this show. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to see more gaming content. If you want updates on Overwatch League and predictions on all the Overwatch League games, follow me on Twitter, at Badmoon. Thanks for watching. See you next week.